Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome along to another episode on LandPowerTV.com. And I've got to say, right from the off, I'm really looking forward to this episode because it is, well, it tackles a meaty subject, which is engine remapping and tuning. So, to help us do that today, we've got Avon Tuning with us. Uh, you may have heard of them. They have been growing like crazy over the last decade. And we've got the main man himself, uh, Mr. Gareth Jones, who is what, are you, technical director? Owner, technical director. So yeah. this, is, this, this is the main man who started off the company. So, the plan today, well, for a start off, we are in sunny Scotland, we are. Uh, just outside uh, Jedburgh. Uh, so we're on farm, we got our hands on a John Deere 6215R tractor, which we are, well we're literally going to do a before and after. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to set off with this tractor on the dyno in the yard, we're going to see what it's like with its John Deere stock engine map. We're going to, well, we're going to measure it on the dyno, yeah, yeah. see what's what, see what it's got. And then once we've done that, we are going to put your map on it, yeah. the, uh, the performance map or whatever we're going to call it. Yeah, and we're going to yeah. really look into how that is done. And then we're going to see what the numbers then tell us. And then once we've done the dyno section, we are going to get out in the field and do some field work. And again, we'll do a before and after. We'll see what it's like with the stock map on it, engine map, and then we'll see what it's like with the performance map on it. So on with this episode. I'm going to kick off with you Gareth because it is a fascinating story like I said it's a meaty subject is the subject of engine mapping and tuning. So for you Gareth the founder of Avon Tuning sort of where did it all start? I mean why did you start this company? 2010 I started. I had a passion back then for cars, automotive. Um, I, I'd done a a degree in mechanical engineering. I was quite good on computers and I sort of wanted to combine automotive, engines, combustion engines and software. Um, so started Avon Tuning, tinkering around with mapping and it's evolved from there. So that was 2010 um, and then started tinkering with agri, dipping our toe in the agri industry in 2016. Right, and what sort of uh, got you into the ag side of things? Um, sort of, I noticed in the ag world everybody predominantly used tuning boxes, um, which reminded me of the car world in 2010. Right. Most people were, not most people, but a lot of people were using tuning boxes and then shifted over time towards remapping. Yeah. And I kind of felt that there was a great opportunity in the agri industry to shift people away from tuning boxes over to remapping. So you've seen what had happened in the car world yeah, and yeah. thought, actually, this is the way the ag world yeah, is going as yeah, well. Yeah. And as for your company now, obviously it's grown substantially over the last decade. Just give us a bit of a, a flavour of the scale of the company now. Yeah, so we've got HQ in Bristol, we've got 11 members of staff, three full-time software engineers, two guys full-time in the workshop, one guy mobile, Marcus is out mobile tractor tuning, and then we've got a global network of authorised agents. So they are installation centres that can install our software, our remaps into control units for customers, vehicles, machinery all over the world. Right. And we got... So you're not just UK, no, you are, no, you are global. Yeah, yeah, we truly are, yeah. It, it, we've got an agent in every continent. Right, and are there different maps for different preferences? Because obviously you'll deal with a lot of different customers and they may just say, well, actually, I just want to improve fuel economy or actually... I just want better torque characteristics. Yeah, yeah, Can you yeah. do all that? Or? Yeah, it's completely customizable. So you could, some, a customer might say, I want no, no increase in peak torque, so I want it left. Um, at 1,000 PTO speed, I want original power, 160 horsepower, let's say, but I want bags of torque. Yeah. And you can customise that if you wish. Um, so, yeah, it's completely customisable. So you can really play with that yeah, torque yeah, curve yeah. and when it yeah. kicks in and when yeah. it peters off and that yeah. sort of stuff. Yeah. And do you find, in, in your world of, of tuning, that, you know, such as a manufacturer like John Deere or any other manufacturer who has a number of models in its range. And rather than the customer paying all that money for the top model and getting all the performance out of that, do they then buy a, a mid model and then get you guys come along, actually tune us up to the top model, knowing full well that the tractor can handle it. Yeah, 100%. That's incredibly popular at the moment. We call it next level up tuning. Right. So you take like a class Arian 630, yeah. you can tune that to a 650 spec. So they could save money by buying the low horsepower model that suits size-wise suits the farm and then pay us or one of our agents all over the world to come and tune it to the next level up. Right. And then just coming back to the tractors, because the spec on a tractor 
is so varied yeah. as well. I mean, yeah, you've yeah, got. Yeah. I mean, just talking about transmissions, you've got power shift transmissions, yeah. and you've got yeah. continuously variable yeah. transmissions. Do yeah. you have to apply different maps to those different tractors? Because obviously, engine and transmission, they've got to talk to each yeah. other. So presumably, you've got to fit in with yeah, that as well. Without doubt. In fact, the transmission is always the thing that you really need to have in the back of the mind, back mm. of your mind when tuning. Because you've got to protect that. You've got to protect yeah. it. Granted, there are inbuilt protection limiters. Gearboxes often have torque limiters built into them, um, which won't allow the engine to go over a, a set torque. Sometimes can hamper you from a tuning perspective, yeah. and there's ways around that. But you definitely need to consider the back end of the tractor. You know, there's, there's multiple tractors where we could tune the engine far further than we do, yeah. simply because we're trying to protect the back end. Right. So yeah, the, the transmission and the back end really are the key things that you need to sort of have your eye on when you're tuning. And if I'm gonna play devil's advocate yeah, for a yeah. little minute. Obviously, you know, for example, we've got John Deere behind us. Yeah. Big global manufacturer, spends billions on R&D. Yeah, yeah. What can you do that it can't do? <laughs> John Deere can do it as well as yeah. anybody. Of course they can. Yeah. But modular manufacturing has meant that they've managed to create one engine, one turbo, one injector, and fit it to multiple models. So like a 6155R is running the same engine as this. You could tune that 6155R to the same specification as this. Right. So it's not that they can't do it. Yeah. They just choose to offer a, a variety of different power models and sort of, it's a marketing ploy really. Mm. Likewise, and again, I'm just gonna play devil's advocate yeah, again. Yeah. Warranty. Yeah. How does what you do affect warranty? Obviously it'll, it'll depend if the tractor's even got warranty or not, yeah, and yeah. what age it is, yeah. but if it is quite a young tractor and it does have warranty on yeah. it, and it has been tuned by yeah. you guys, what's, what's the situation there? I think any manufacturer would use any form of modification mm. to an engine or to, or to the drivetrain as an excuse, as an option to get yeah. out of paying out a warranty claim. So there is no doubt if you tune a tractor in warranty, you run a risk avoiding it. Yeah. There is no doubt about that. Lots of people understand that and just go for it anyway. Um, but yeah, it, we've, we've got to yeah. face facts here. Tuning under warranty, there is a chance it will void it. Right, there we go. Right, no more awkward questions for you. That's it now. Let's get stuck in. Let's get this tractor tuned. Well, for a start off, we're gonna run it on the down yeah, yeah. stock. Then we're gonna tune it. We're gonna yeah. see what's involved. Uh, should be good. Let's crack on, shall we? Let's do it. Lovely. So I think we're, we're ready to rock and roll. So I'm going to free that off. I'm going to do a, an F1 test, which is a, what, a normal power and torque test. Right. Take it from maximum revs all the way down to, I've set it to stop at 600 PTO speed. Yeah. We could take it a lot lower, but um, if there's not a need to, there's no need to overstrain the engine. That's you know? it, there's no, no need to keep pulling and no. pulling and pulling. No. So right. It's not a competition today. <laughs> there we go, that's maximum revs now. At 11.50 PTO speed. Right. So is that the tractor flat out that? Or That's is that... full revs. That's Absolutely full revs. Full revs. Right. Um, and I'm going to start the test. 